President. The Senator from Illinois. Mr. President, this week the Senate will vote on Eunice Lee's nomination to serve on the Second Circuit Court of Appeals. If confirmed, Ms. Lee would be the only, the only black woman and the only former public defender to serve on the Second Circuit. With her nomination, the Biden administration and Senate Democrats are continuing our efforts to build a federal judiciary that looks like America. I'd like to take a, minute, a moment or two to discuss Ms. Lee's qualifications and what she will bring to the bench, a perspective that is sorely needed. Ms. Lee has dedicated her entire legal career to public defense work, most recently as an assistant federal public defender with the Federal Defenders of New York. Graduating from Ohio State University and Yale Law School, Ms. Lee began her legal career clerking with the Southern District of Ohio and then with the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals. She then joined New York's Office of the Appellate Defender, where she spent more than 20 years advocating for indigent criminal defendants at all levels of the New York State court system. During that time, Ms. Lee also taught and mentored a new generation of lawyers when she served as adjunct assistant professor of clinical law at New York University. She then joined the Federal Defenders of New York, where she's briefed and argued criminal appeals on the Second Circuit, court to which she is now nominated. In short, Ms. Lee has dedicated her entire life to upholding the Sixth Amendment right to counsel, representing defendants who cannot afford to hire a lawyer. Now, some of my Republican colleagues have claimed, without any evidence, that as a former federal public defender, Ms. Lee would be biased as a judge in favor of defendants. It's curious to me that these concerns over bias didn't seem to crop up over the decades when former prosecutors were nominated to the federal bench, and for good reason. It's a flimsy argument as it is offensive to the lawyers who represent defendants, a representation mandated under the Constitution. Let's be clear. Both prosecutors and public defenders play essential roles in our justice system and their jobs give them extensive courtroom experience, which is something we demand of all judges. Additionally, Ms. Lee has made it clear she understands the difference between being a lawyer and a judge. As a lawyer, she's an advocate. As a judge, an arbiter. At her hearing before the Judiciary Committee, Ms. Lee explained that she quite critically recognizes the importance of being a fair decision maker. What's more, 70 former prosecutors those are the women and men sitting at the other table in the courtroom. In the southern and eastern districts of New York, the very prosecutors that she squared off with in the courtrooms have stressed the importance of having her perspective as a public defender represented on the Second Circuit. In a letter to the Judiciary Committee, these prosecutors wrote, quote, we enthusiastically support Ms. Lee, not just because of her sterling credentials, we believe that after a career as public defender serving indigent clients in criminal cases, Ms. Lee would bring a unique and underrepresented perspective to the job of hearing and deciding federal appeals. Then they added, Ms. Lee was, quote, an incredibly talented lawyer and public servant whose career representing the most vulnerable among us will bring a critical, unique perspective. Finally, I want to share a passage from a recent op-ed written by Clark Neely, a scholar at the Cato Institute, and Devi Rao, a counsel at the MacArthur Justice Center. They wrote, and I quote, judges with a greater diversity of professional experience would improve judicial decision-making overall. A judiciary with members whose formative professional experience spans the legal profession will be best equipped to handle the diverse range of cases and issues presented to them. Legal experts across the ideological spectrum agree. Professional diversity on the federal bench is beneficial to our system of justice. With Eunice Lee's confirmation, the Senate can continue bringing balance to our nation's court and elevate a professional perspective severely underrepresented today. I'll vote for Ms. Lee's nomination. I urge my colleagues to do the same. And let me just add in closing, I want to thank the members of the Senate, both political parties, for proposing nominees to the Biden White House for consideration for lifetime appointments to the federal judiciary. They have brought them those nominations to the Senate Judiciary Committee where I chair the proceedings. And it's remarkable, the women and men who come to us 
prepared to serve, make a lifetime commitment to serve our federal judiciary. The diversity in that group is amazing, remarkable, and the quality is without exception. All of them have been found at least well qualified unanimously by the American Bar Association in many cases and certainly in others, very positive re reports as well. So I want to continue bringing these women and men to the floor of the Senate. I have pleaded even this morning with the Majority Leader, Senator Schumer, who has the toughest job in the world trying to move all the things we want to do onto this calendar and off again. I thank him for his cooperation.